Do you want to create better content brief faster? I'm really excited to introduce a new content brief feature with Through. Many of you were already using Through and its SERP analyzer and all the data collected to create content brief. I wanted to accelerate your process and create a new content creation workflow with Through. All right, maybe I'm already speaking too much. Let's have a look at this new feature together. You might recognize this interface. I'm in the dashboard of Through, and there is something new here. There is a new button called Brief. Let's click on this one and see what is behind. So now from here, you can create awesome content brief. How does it work? First, you have to enter your main topic, also known as a target keyword. Let's say I want to write about, uh, I want to write an article about what is a, what is a backlink. Then, um, I have to define how my audience will search for the content, from where do they come. In my case, it will be United States, but you can change here. Uh, also, you can pick a, a location. Also, how they will search, which search engine they will use. So here, my case is also google.com and in English, and the device will be desktop. Finally, I have to define the number of results I want to analyze. You know, through the SERP analyzer, and for each content brief, there will be a SERP analysis uh, linked to it. I recommend to search or to analyze 20, 30, 40 pages, well, at least 20, so you already have enough data to create great content brief. So in my case, I will search for, I will analyze 30 pages. And now I click on create a brief and through is analyzing the SERP and pre-filling a content brief for me. And now you can see there is a lot of information already pre-filled and we go through them right now. But first, let's uh, see what's going on at the bottom, at the top of the content brief. Here, yeah, there is a status, so you can change the status of your brief. I will set in progress. And then there is some action. You can save to save your brief. You can save and close. If I do that, I go back to all the list of my uh, content brief. By the way, this list is as well accessible from here. On the menu, then you click back on the brief or on the pencil to open the content brief again. Then you can share it. We will see that later on that you can share a brief with your writer with a public link. So it means that the writer doesn't need to create an account in through. As well, you can open the SERP analysis. So here, this is a SERP analysis that is linked to this uh, to your research. So with all the data uh, coming from through. Also, you can open the Google uh, SERP that has been scraped by through. All right, so now let's have a look at the content brief. You will see it's made of different blocks. Some are pre-filled and some must be filled by you. And it's also uh, built in a way to guide you through this content process. First, writer directive. So here, uh, your main topic, by default is what you enter, but you can change that. Then general note. Here, what I suggest is that you use this placeholder to provide information to your writer what uh, is the goal of this content. So our goal, our goal is to uh, be seen as a, as expert in SEO. Yeah, okay. Write something more meaningful than that, right? But yeah, you get the point. Then the audience, define your audience here. So here is, let's say, SEO expert, no, not really expert, but maybe beginners. And the search intent. The search intent as well, or customer journeys, how people uh, uh, describing why they search for this topic, uh, what, where they are in, the, in their journey. So maybe we can think that people searching for this topic uh, are um, looking for information about backlinks, they are also beginners. They start their journey. Let's say start their journey in the SEO world space. Yeah, of course, if you search what's the backlink, you might be a beginner. So just explain uh, what is the journey from your perspective. And of course, yeah, I mean, you, you can uh, improve this block over time while you do your, uh, while you create your content brief and why while you dig in the data coming from through. Then there is a second block. You might know this one if you're already using through. It's a SERP insights. So here again, giving you some key information about the SERP, some key metrics and statistics. This will be displayed to your writer. If you don't want, 
you can hide it from the brief. So then it won't be displayed. But in my case, I will uh, display everything to the writer just to give them additional information. Similar here, you have a list of your main competitor. So basically the, the organic result uh, from the SERP. By default, the first 10 are displayed, but of course you can as well uh, list all of them. Also, this will be displayed to your writer. You can hide it if you want. Here as well, then you have the top titles and H1. So just this is a view to display all the top titles and H1 side by side. So as well, it can give you an understanding of what kind of topic or what is the angle of the topic, uh, how your computer is asking about uh, your topic. So here in my case, what's the backlink? You can see that, of course, there is a lot of what. Almost every article starts with what. So yeah, it's quite useful as well, uh, this view to really start your process. Uh, your creative process and start to think about how you will shape your uh, article. Also, you can hide from the brief if you don't want to display that to your writer. Okay, now there is an article summary. So here is, uh, is, uh, you have to describe uh, some key information about your article, like title, description, the slug, and more. So for the title, you can come with the title by yourself, but as well, you can look at example coming from the SERP. So here, uh, you can see, I will maybe move over here. You may, you, you can see here again, side by side, uh, the SERP title and the meta title. So again here, just to give you some inspiration. Well, here is, there is not a lot of, uh, you don't need a lot of inspiration. There is more, almost every article that is, uh, the title is what's the backlink. So you can click on, click on one and start to adapt it if you want. Okay, for me, I'm fine. I keep what's the backlink. Similar for the description, description the same. So you can see the SERP description and you can see uh, the meta description as well. And here as well, uh, some keywords uh, to give you idea how to write your description. Don't do that. Don't just copy a description, but yeah, for, for the example, I will just start and copy paste one uh, description from another article. Then the slug, by default, uh, it takes uh, it takes your topic and, and creates a, a slug for it, but you can as well change the slug if you want. Word count also, by default, it puts the top uh, 10 uh, word, uh, word count, but here again, you can change. So I suggest maybe to put 3000 to my writer. The article type, also here, some information. And by the way, you can leave that empty. If you don't want, leave it empty. It just won't be displayed uh, in the final brief. But article type, it will be a blog post. It can be maybe a list type of article or a comparison, uh, product feature, etc. And then the tone, you can say casual. Voila. It's up to you to define really this, uh, this data. And again, uh, feel free to adapt it to your need. Then you can, uh, then you can define your outline. You, as you can see, there is already a pre-filled pre outline here. So three is coming with suggestion, uh, a structure for your article. So H2 structure here, and up to you to keep that or change it. What you can do here, if you click on this button, you will see now uh, like a new view where you can see first here all the competitor outline. So you can scroll them. And if you want, you when you can, when you want to have a, I don't know, you start to analyze a structure and if something is interesting, you just click on it and you can see that it's added to your outline. So like this, you can easily build your outline. You can, of course, uh, delete stuff uh, because maybe some stuff are not really interesting. This, the um, content automatically generated, maybe it's not relevant, so just delete it. It's just here a helper for you to start uh, working on your brief faster. So I recommend to have a look at all the outline. You can also display only the outline if you want just to have a focus view on that. And then click on the different elements and they will be added to the brief. And as you can see here, they are on the brief. Also, you can also display only the H1. So if you want uh, just to have a look at the H1, so you can start also preparing your H1. And then you can also reorganize your brief. It's a rich text editor, so feel free to do what you like. So as you can see here, I can just copy paste stuff here. I can also change that to a uh, uh, list if I want. There is also other information here, like the most frequent headings. Again, something really helpful, I guess. The most frequent headings for the first 10, the first 20. So you can see what are the most important headlines used by other articles. And they're grouped by similarity here. 
and as well the most frequent question found in headlines. So quite cool feature to really help you build outline very fast. And once you're done, uh, you can just click, you can find another icon here, and here there is um, my outline. Of course, I need to spend more time than three minutes on that, but you get the point. Finally, also, uh, if there is people also ask, it will be displayed directly here. And if there is as well here display uh, the, the top question found on pages. And you can have, again, uh, have a look at the top question uh, and improve this block. The idea of this block is to, again, give you uh, give to your writer uh, an idea of what are the most, uh, the most frequent questions. There can be no outline, of course, but um, you can also give him this indication so he, he understands what he has to answer in the content. Finally, there is a last block called Top Topics. And here, by default, there is a Top Topics uh, displayed on this block. You can remove them if you don't like, and you can add more topics, right? So here you can see all the topics and keywords um, used in the other content. And if you click on the different topics, you can add it to your list. Again, you build a list so to give to your, write, to your writer some information about keywords to use in the content. Great, so now I can save. And also, as you can see, every minute uh, the content brief is saved automatically in case, uh, yeah, so you don't lose anything. Now what I can do is to share it. So I click on share, I copy the link, and here you share that by email with your writer, and he will get an access to that. So again, I say it doesn't have to log into it. And here you can see like the goal and direct lead that you define with the target audience, the region, the search intent, and then some indication to your writer how they can prepare their copy. First, have the SERP uh, insights. So it, again, it gives them a kind of feeling of how the SERP is. Also, the competitor analysis, so they can uh, have a look. They can also open the, the, the page in a new tab. Again, also here, they can have a look at the top title and the H1. And here you have your article summary. So what's the backlink, the, the, the description, the slug, the type of article, the suggested, word, the suggested word count, and here the outline. So what you can do here is to copy it. And as you can see here, there is maybe some, uh, a bit, some garbage. So what I will do, I will quickly go back to my outline and remove this and save it again. So you can see that it's automatically updated. And if I refresh, there is some update on my outline. All right, now it's a bit better. So what can your writer do is to copy that and put that in Google Doc or in MS uh, Microsoft Doc, and you can start as well, start uh, working on, on this, on this uh, structure. And finally, as well, the questions. So the most important question to answer in the content are displayed here and also the topic. And what the what your writer can do is you can click on a topic and then it will directly see in the context of every pages how the topic is used. So again, interesting information. So your writer can really start uh, to look at, the, at some example and write uh, a piece of content in a very fast way. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, demonstration of the new content bridge feature. It's a first version. I have a lot of ideas to improve it. I will bring more uh, content blocks to this brief so you can uh, have more data like internal, external links, uh, keyword and their volume, and more blocks like this. And of course, I'm waiting for your feedback to let me know what kind of uh, additional uh, feature you would like to have in the content brief. As well, you will be able uh, very soon to create your own template. So by picking what kind of element you would like to have in your brief. Also, you'll be able to communicate with your writer and even comment on the brief and more feature like this. And finally, as well, exporting this brief directly in Google Doc or uh, Google Sheet. So now it's your turn, create awesome content brief and don't hesitate to share with me your results.